loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video I wanted to talk about how I beat depression and I want to talk about how you can beat depression too and how you can liven up your life with love and happiness and joy and yeah basically this is a video of how I beat depression. So I basically suffered from depression from a really young age like since the age of nine. I actually went through something called trichotomania which is something where you pull out your hair and like you're kind of bald. Yeah I actually suffered from the age of nine and I actually suffered from various mental disorders from the age of nine but yeah it was really tough for me but like growing up I've actually become so resilient and so amazing and so happy and I want to share with you guys how I got through my tough and difficult times and what the things were that really pulled me through and made me the best person that I could be and helped me to be the very happiest that I could be. So yeah, anyway, so basically one of the things that I used to do is I used to give myself therapy. So like a lot of people know that if you go to therapy, it's good. But sometimes for specific people, therapy is just not for them. Like therapy doesn't work as well as it should or as it seems like it should. So like I feel like a really good way to help ourselves is to give ourselves our own therapy. So like it's about sitting down with yourself and writing down all the things you find stressful in a book, in a diary, on a notepad, on your computer. Um, yeah, so just write down everything that you're feeling and there's always a way to resolve everything so like it's about working through those emotions and figuring out the best way to deal with them and deal with your circumstances and your emotions and your feelings. So there's so many ways to uplift yourself in this life like there's so many options like having the internet, having TV, having friends, having family like there are so many different roads that you can go down that can help you deal with your depression in a really civil and happy way so one of the best ways I would say that healed my depression was books Buddhist books are really good for helping with your mental health and any books in general really so you can find some self-help books or you can look for spiritual books because they have some really amazing knowledge which will really help you with your mental health so yeah that's a really good way playing games like um, online games and making friends online is a really good way to heal your depression too so playing like Habbo, RuneScape, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty like any kind of game that you can interact with other people is amazing for helping with your mental health I find games are so good with that so you can just go out there and find any game that you want and use it to help with your mental health because games are amazing like that but yeah, I really recommend books because books really changed my mindset and my habitual tendencies so much. Like books seriously changed my life in a positive way. So like I just searched online on Amazon for spiritual books. So yeah, just like get down there and buy a book, go to a bookstore, buy a book, like a spiritual self-help book, and it will really change your life in a massive way. It will impact your life, it will change your behavior, it will change everything about your life. Like you will be so amazed at how much it will change your life. But like one of the things with depression is that sometimes we just don't feel like doing things. So like playing music and dancing is a really good way to let off some steam. Try finding Find a hobby that you love, like paint art. I find art so therapeutic for helping with depression. Like I feel like when you go through depression, it's it's just a feeling. So like if you see it that way, you just say, look, this is just a feeling that I'm going through. It's just something that I'm feeling in my body, but it's something that I can change and something that I can overcome. Sometimes we give in to our feelings. But sometimes it's really important to overcome those feelings and find a way to help them. Sometimes we just need to realize that we should not dwell in those feelings. We should not sit in ourselves and feel sorry for ourselves. We should find empathy and we should forget about sympathy. Just find empathy and empathize with ourselves, try understand what we're going through and try figure it out because there's always a solution to every problem out there. 
and I feel like mental health is something that is able to be dealt with and is something that we can deal with and something that we can battle. So I was watching one of my old videos um, about depression from back in the day and I really want to say like I think it's so important to value life. Like even when we don't value life, it's something that we should do. We should value life to its fullest capacity even when we don't feel like it. Because life and people and our friends and family and the world is worth it. And it's amazing to think about all the things you could do in the future. Like it's so important to make sure we stay alive, like we make sure that we're healthy and we're looking after ourselves, do not damage yourself, look after your body, make sure that you're safe, don't take any risks, like make sure that you're happy, like make sure you read a book or you know. I personally find life so worthwhile, I've had some really life changing experiences that literally killed my depression. Like, my depression is eternally gone. Even though I get sad sometimes, like, I still have this inkling in me that I would never remove myself from this world. I would never ever give up this life because I know how valuable it is. Just like knowing the deep Akashic records and knowing the deep sacred knowledge of life, like from reading books and like experiencing life, like that is so life changing and once you become aware of that knowledge, you become aware of the beauty of life, you become aware of God. I actually am in favour of the Christian religion and Buddhism and Hare Krishna. Those are the religions that my heart turns to for comfort and I really find it amazing like you can find a lot of amazing quotes on Pinterest or Tumblr about Christianity or Buddhism and Buddhism has a lot of really motivational quotes and so does Christianity and I feel like it's so life changing just to read those quotes it just it completely changes your outlook on life it's about finding something that you love and devoting yourself to that so the thing is about life is that we can't live without love and when you realize that you will genuinely remove your depression forever i know you will always get sad sometimes but like depression is impermanent it's something that won't last but your joy, your love, your love for life, like your love for somebody, for something, that is something that will last forever. That is something that we should commit ourselves to and work our hardest to devote ourselves to. So something that I love to do is I like to go to the Hare Krishna temples and I find them so peaceful walking through the gardens. Find a safe, sacred spot which makes you happy and go there, read books, paint art. Painting art is so therapeutic, I'm not even gonna lie. Like genuinely, I love art and it's such an amazing way to heal. Cooking, like doing things that are enjoyable, cooking, making yourself a nice meal, doing things that make you happy, finding a new favorite TV show, that is something that is amazing. I recommend Shadowhunters. Shadowhunters is so good. Or Merlin. Merlin is an amazing TV show. If you watch them, they will be sure to make you happy. Dress like a cat. Make a video. Do some fun things. Post online about how you're feeling. Speak up about how you're feeling. Speak to your friends. Give someone a phone call. If it's late at night, then message a friend and ask for support. There are so many avenues to help you through your depression. It's just about realizing that it's possible to heal. And that's the one thing about depression is that when we are in our depression, we think it's impossible to heal. But once we come to terms with the fact that there is a possibility of healing here, then only then will you be able to heal. 
that is the only moment where you will be able to be better and get better and it's about realizing that anything is possible and that our depression won't last and we are worthy of happiness we are worthy of love we are worthy of joy if you're going through a difficult time then figuring out the best route to get out of that like it's about fighting it's about fighting to find your way in this world this is what life is about i know life is tough but life is tough for everybody like life is not easy for everybody it's about finding that passion that love that admiration that joy in life and i'm sure you will find it if you put your heart into it so finding things that you love so like i like to listen to chase atlantic all the time and they are my new favorite band now but yeah i like to listen to rock music too alternative rock motionless and white are amazing i love them but yeah, it's about finding something that you love in life and committing yourself to that and being creative, doing things that make you smile. Yes, I hope you guys feel better after this video. I hope it helped you to find some motivation to feel happier. Go and do something fun. Go meet friends. Go outside. Go for a walk. A walk is so refreshing in the park. Go for a run in the park. Do some exercise. Get your health and self-esteem up literally look in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself and just have a adoration for yourself because you are a valuable and important part of life you are somebody that deserves love and you should never forget that make sure to check out my cameo like subscribe click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time i upload a youtube video and yeah i love you guys I hope you guys get better, I hope that your depression isn't so bad and that you do feel better soon. I know that this is hard, but please keep on fighting. Keep on fighting for me, keep on fighting for you and your friends and your family. Life is worthwhile and you are so worth it. You are an important person in this world and you are so deserving of love and you should never forget that. Never ever ever forget that you are worthy of love. Happiness will find you again and it will soon in time. You just need to keep fighting for that happiness, for that love, for that joy and don't ever give up. One an amazing quote from Naruto that I learned growing up was Naruto used to say I will never give up and that was so motivational to me when I was younger because like it just made me fight through everything like when I came on the internet when I did my you nails I'd get hate just for being a young little girl who was weird and exciting and upbeat so yeah but like something that I kept and bore in mind was the fact that I should never give up and neither should you. You should never ever ever give up and always live and chase your dreams because it will feel so worthwhile once you achieve them. And remember that life is worth living and do never give up on life because life is worth it and I love you oh I hope you guys get better I'm so sorry for whatever you're going through but please remember there is a way out of this there is a way to cope and deal with your emotions and to get out of the situations that you're going through so work your hardest put some effort in you can do it I believe in you I love you guys bye